Hello and welcome to another Oracle DBA tutorial. In this video, we'll learn a few things about system privileges. The, the topic is very, very broad. So I can show you some examples. I'll show you some important things and I'll try to explain some concepts that will give you a good idea how system privileges work and why they're important. So in Oracle, uh, system privileges allow you to do important tasks such as even connecting to the database, creating and modifying tables and views and other objects. And there are hundreds of uh, different system privileges available in Oracle. So as I stated, when you create a user, uh, creating a user is just not enough. So you have to assign them, you have to grant them a privilege to even connect to the instance. And I'll show you with the help of an example. So I'm creating a user here, create user genie identified by lamp. So genie is gonna be the name of the user and the lamp would be the password. So let me run this user genie created and let me open a command prompt and I'll try to I'll, first of all I'll connect as a sys user okay and let me try and connect as user genie and the password was lamp user genie lex create session privilege log on the night so what it means that you have to grant this user genie a create session system privilege so they can at least log on to the database and if you want them to create a table or do some other things you have to assign them proper privileges so let me minimize this and granting a privilege is as simple as that grant create session to genie so the name of the user is genie here and let me run this grant succeeded and let me try to connect as user genie once again connected show user user genie is connected to the instance let me create another user create user not star identified by shine run this statement user not star created and let me try and connect as north star the password was shine Use not star lex create session privilege log on denied. What you can also do, you can grant a system privilege to public. So I'll, what I'll say, grant create session to public. Grant succeeded. What it means that every user you create from now onwards, you don't have to grant them a create session privilege anymore so we haven't assigned not a star a create session still but let me try and connect once again user not star is connected but granting a system privilege to this role is never a good idea okay so let me revoke create session from public revoke succeeded let me disconnect as user not a star and let me try and connect once again as user not a star not a star lex create session privilege log on denied okay so i've shown you two different ways to uh, grant a system privilege you can do it uh, on a user level or you can grant it to a role or you can grant it to a public role uh, and so on and so forth you can revoke a system privilege from a number of users uh, at the same time in in one statement so what you'll have to do you have to revoke uh, in this example we're doing we are revoking a create session privilege from both users north star and genie but remember we revoked the uh, the north star does not have the system privilege uh, anyway so let me grant create session to north star first okay so grant succeeded and now you can revoke both this uh, the uh, this privilege from both users so revoke create session from north star comma genie run this so the privilege has been taken away from both these users